building me a G.I. Joe army. Go Joe, actually this is a Cobra army. And you got the Trouble Bubble, which is pretty cool. Missiles. Hopefully I can sell all this shit. Alright, so let's overclock this graphics card. Alright, and we're going to use Extreme Engine 2 by Gigabyte, since this is a Gigabyte graphics card. Now, I highly recommend that you do not play with the voltage. You usually don't want to play with the voltage. What we're going to mess with is with the GPU clock. All right. Now you can you can play with some of it like in here they got like an OC mode, a gaming mode and whatever mode. That's fine. If you're not if you don't feel comfortable enough overclocking it manually, then these options are nice too. And you can also do it with the fan too. You can also increase your fan speed, but I do that through the BIOS. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to increase, right now our GPU clock is at 150%. Um, that's about as high as I can go with it. So I'm actually going to drop the percentage down to 140 on the GPU clock, okay? And then down here on the memory clock, I'm also going to drop that down to 140. And then we're going to hit apply, right? GPU firm and power limit zero. That's 140. Actually, you know what? The the software is recommending me that I keep the clock speed a little bit higher. So I guess we'll just go ahead and go with that. Okay, so right there is just the basics of how we're going to overclock our graphics card. Now I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm going to go down to power and we're going to hit shut down and what we're going to do real fast is I'm going to get into the BIOS and I'm going to show you guys how to overclock. Alright, turn the system on and you want to immediately start hitting whatever you need F12 is or F2 is what I need to get into my BIOS so F2. there we go and yes we want to load previous visions okay now what you want to do is I believe it's I think it's AI tweaker yeah you go AI tweaker and what we're looking for is we're looking for the CPU core ratio that's what we want alright now here it says that we have a multiplier of 37 Basically what that means is that we are running 3.7 gigahertz. All you want to do is take the decimal and move it between your two letters, all right? So if I want to decrease the clock speed, I can erase that and go to 3.400, so 34, that's 3.4 gigahertz. All right, that's basically how you want to overclock and then you want to make sure okay custom core ratio that's on auto alright you want to make sure that the memory that you're running is at the correct speed and frequency which it is um, power mode is off let's go over here down into this section voltage is good 1.2 volts 1.8 2.5 0 0.9 everybody is on auto which is good I don't ever mess with the voltage I hardly ever play with the voltage unless I am trying to um, benchmark and then I will go in here and mess with the voltage but even when I do the voltage it's minute increments I mean 0.1 at a time and that's just how I do it so alright everything is okay um, I'm going to go ahead and reset my overclock from 3.4 gigahertz to 3.7 gigahertz so that would be 37.00 because you're times that power by 37 on your core ratio alright and then um, let's see here we set it to turbo 
hit apply optimize click the button to detect the lowest speed alright and what this is going to do is it's going to calibrate my fans for me real fast tell me which one of my fans is lacking behind and if it's the CPU fan that's lacking behind then I know that I need to increase that fan speed or the RPMs on that fan to give me more cooling it's kind of a neat little trick to see um, which one it is um, this right here is a, a Zeus a rogue Strix yeah by a Zeus and it's a B350F gaming motherboard and we are on the current BIOS and we are a UEFI BIOS in case you were wondering which is basically the standard right now we are in um, advanced mode but we are waiting for our fan calibration to take effect okay so the duty cycle is 20 through 31 and most of our fans are hidden in the 60 percentile fan 1 2 and 3 so our CPU fan is okay the minimum duty cycle percentage of each fan has to change okay so all right uh, let's see here main security let's see here no, 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 no. monitor maybe it's underneath the monitor all right so right now we're running at a hundred and so we're at 46 C motherboard temperature is 32 114 CPU fan speeds at I want to monitor that okay so that's 1200 rpm I wonder if I can change that CPU mom optional fan speed huh can I type in something no alright let's check something out real quick whoops Q fan control configuration what is that oh check that out CPU fan lower limit 200 fan smoothing up and down time PWM mode English easy tuning wizard current configuration frequency is 3.7 megahertz we are 37 times that Temperature is at 40 C and my frequency is 16,000 on the DDR. Alrighty, that's good. Select your computer usage. Gaming and media. Next, select the type of CPU cooler you have. We have a tower. Next. Estimating tuning results. CPU performance 6% and up. DRAM. If the system becomes unstable after running, please enter the BIOS setup and load a default system after you do. Yep. Okay. If the system becomes unstable, then you'll know. Alright. So now we are at overclocking at 6% on the CPU. That's not very much, but we should notice a difference in gameplay. Okay, so let's pull up task manager because we want to see what our performance is going to be um, let's go to performance all right so we have our CPU all right there's our speed utilization is one and then the Nvidia that's our graphics card it's at one all right I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the game now we should see an immediate increase in both CPU and graphics card they should both jump up yeah look at that 40 41 so by me increasing the speed of both the graphics card and the CPU I'm hoping that I should get a little bit more crisper gameplay and I did make sure that my aspect ratio was up so all right so now we're at 10 right now we're using 34 percent gpu and 11 percent cpu all right let's go ahead and get this going 
hopefully what happens if I did the right if I did it right the CPU should stay low and the graphics card should go up see what was happened was is that the CPU was doing all the work and the graphics card wasn't doing that much work so I went in there and changed some things around and then I got them both about level at each other so I wanted to change it again and get it to where the graphics card was doing all the driving but the CPU could handle all the tasking to send the instructions even faster to the GPU because you got to remember the CPU has to send the instructions to the GPU before the GPU can tell or can show your eyes what's going on on the monitor all right so I don't know what just happened I guess we lost that game all right next let's try it all right so we're loading a game loading 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 and while we're loading this is over here jumping around let's see if our speed increases before I was at two point or 1.87 something like that all right I'm jumping into the game okay so so far it looks like we're doing good the GPUs at 35 and our CPUs at 25 see before I started this video that was backwards the CPU was doing all the work and the GPU was doing less work so I'm not sure how that happened this is a uh, war robots I love playing this game but a lot of my audience said that they hated watching the videos of me playing the game so I actually quit playing the game altogether um, so well, I guess that's just what it is I still play it I mean don't get me wrong I still play the game I just don't I don't film it anymore uh, but so we're at 40% now we're at 30% okay so that was successful that was a successful overclock on both because the goal was to increase the CPU and the GPU but I had to get the CPU to be able to send instructions faster to the graphics card like I was saying earlier so that way I could get the type of speed that I wanted so yes, that right there is overclocking 101, guys. You cannot. Also, I want to show you guys this. Check it out. Look, see what that T-shirt says? It says A Tech PCs on it. And then look on the back here. It has my logo. It's my first T-shirt. I'm gonna start doing merch. Um, the T-shirts. Until I can get a better deal on them, they're about $25 for them. And honestly, guys, I don't make a dime off of that. And they come in 16 different colors. You can get the shirt red, black, white, green, blue, whatever. It'll still have ATEC PCs on the back, and it'll still say it on the front. Um, right now, I'm working with a guy to come up with a couple of different t-shirt designs. I got hair on it already. A couple different t-shirt designs. Like I would like to have ATEC PCs right here in the middle. Or I thought it would be cool to say ATEC PCs like all over the shirt like that. Or I could, um, you know, change up something. Um, I do think that this right here should be a little bit further over. Because you don't really see this part. But this was the whole point of the first shirt. But I'm very happy with it. Uh oh. But I'm very happy with it. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like my shirts? Was this something that you guys wouldn't mind buying? Um, if so, you know, tell me what you would pay for something like this. So that way I can try to get the shirts made. But also, guys, you gotta remember, I went with a good quality of of cotton too. Like what the shirts made out of. The shirt's made out of a really good cotton, it's super soft, it's breathable, and it's stretchable too. Um, and that's where most of the cost goes at, is into the quality of shirt. Now I could buy a way cheaper shirt and make the shirts a lot cheaper, but then, you know, after a couple of washes, the shirt's going to start fading or it's it won't hold up very well, and I just don't want, you know, my my brand or my company name to be on shitty quality shirts so if you want good quality shirts you have to kind of pay for them and that's just 
that's just the way it is so all right i am um, i think i'm done overclocking this computer for the night um i was i got the results that i was looking for so i'm happy with it but okay um i think i'm gonna sit here and play this game a little bit more uh i appreciate you guys hanging out with me and just for a few minutes i just kind of want to show you how to overclock your computer real fast so yeah um i think that's i think that's about it <laughs>